So you've just registered for the insurance exam and you're wondering what steps you need to take to properly prepare in order to pass the license exam on the first go. In this video, I'm gonna help you do just that. My name is David Duford, owner of Duford Insurance Group, where I recruit and train agents from coast to coast to sell products like final expense, annuities, and Medicare, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. So the reason I'm putting this video together is just give you some quick tips on how to prepare for the insurance examination, no matter what type of license you're getting and no matter what state you live in. So first of all, I can tell you the insurance exam is not nearly as difficult as you're probably expecting. In most states, you need to have a 70 uh, percentage points or greater rate of correct questions answered in order to pass the exam. And the likelihood is that if you study sufficiently for enough time, you should be able to pass it. So what techniques can you do in order to properly study? So in some states, if you're, uh, it's going to come down to kind of how you learn best with the, some of the advice that I'm going to give you. In some states, there are the options to take a face-to-face -face classroom type of uh, study strategy where a teacher will teach you the insurance basics to pass the test and to get your knowledge basis up to, up to par. Uh, in most states, and what most of you all will do, especially with all that's going on presently at the filming of this video with the pandemic, is to take the insurance pre-licensing exam or pre-licensing study course online in the comfort of your home. So the pre-licensing exam is pretty simple, uh, or pre-licensing course. It's just a replication of what to expect uh, on your state's uh, insurance course. So you would study that like anything else in your life that you've ever had to study for. You wanna make sure that you take the practice exams and pass them successfully. I would recommend going so far as to print off those particular questions that have them prepared. I would also even go so far as to recommend that you print off the sections where you're a little bit confused of and make notes as you're reading through them so you can have bullet points uh, to remember the concepts of what is being uh, taught to you. Make sure in some of these courses that are the pre-licensing course, they will have things that you can purchase in addition if you're afraid that you may not pass the exam. For example, there are flashcards that you can purchase at times. There's additional educational supplementary resources that will help reinforce the basics of how to pass the insurance exam and to learn the material as quickly as possible. Make sure you give yourself enough time when you schedule the exam to properly study um, and trust yourself here. You know, for me, I think I took the exam uh, back in 2011 within 10 days of, of registering for the course because I had a lot of time to just study and cram and prepare. So it was quite okay for me to just hurry the process up. But some people may need more time. So don't rush things, okay? Put it off a little bit to prepare yourself adequately, but don't put it off too much that you won't have any pressure, okay? Pressure makes diamonds, as they say. And you wanna have the course coming down the pike pretty quickly so that you'll be prepared and have time to appropriately study for it. So on the day of the exam, make sure, of course, the night before, get some rest. Don't go out and party. You know, get up, get breakfast in, be well hydrated. When you go to the exam place, you're gonna be in some sort of like module uh, where you're kind of like a cubicle, so it'll be quiet. You'll have uh, plenty of time to complete the examination. Nobody I know has run out of time taking the insurance exam. And uh, just take your time getting through it. And then all you need to do is pass. You don't need an A or a B or your C. You just need to get better in most states uh, than a 70 point grade, okay? So the vast majority of people that are licensed um, have no problems at all passing the test. It's not a very difficult exam if you take the steps I've described to study thoroughly, to give yourself an appropriate amount of time to prepare, and to leverage those existing uh, or uh, supplementary programs that the pre-licensing courses offer in order to prepare. So uh, that's it, it's pretty simple. Don't stress about it. Once you get this thing out of the way, the real fun begins, which is how to sell insurance to people uh, who need it. And if you're interested in looking at an agency to join that can help you do just that, I would ask you to check out my website. It's davidduford.com. I'm the owner of DeFord Insurance Group. Again, we recruit and train agents nationally across the country, specifically in products like final expense, Medicare and annuities, whether you want to sell face to face like a traditional agent or virtually, digitally or over the phone, uh, like much of what we've had to do with the recent coronavirus pandemic. We have options for both depending on what you want to do. 
So go there, check it out. You'll see uh, links all over the place about Join Dave's Agency. Just click that, follow through to learn more. If you have any questions at all about the exam, you can leave them below. I'll be happy to personally reply to each of those that you ask. And thank you so much for watching and hope you got some value out of watching this video. See you around. Bye.